Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another video. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell because what I do here is, I would say mainly around Cardano and the Cardano ecosystem. Today is one of them days where we take a step back and look at the overall market because yesterday, Bitcoin broke through the significant level of 53,000 and broke through it very strongly. There's a few rumors around what, what caused that, why that happened. We'll take a look at them as well as taking a look at Cardano and the rest of the market to see how it is performing because when Bitcoin gets big moves like this, what generally happens is it sucks a lot of the liquidity out of the other coins in the market. Once Bitcoin stabilizes, then it flows back into the other coins as well. So we'll take a look at that as well as some of the other things on the charts. So if you get some value, please do give the video a like. Let me know your own thoughts down below and share it out if you think others can benefit as well. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we'll start out here looking at the Bitcoin chart. So you can see broke through the significant level of 53,000. Actually, if anyone wants kind of more regular updates, make sure you're following me on Twitter because when things like this happen, I generally am posting a lot more over there, kind of up to the minute thoughts on what is going on and they will be posted out into the Discord and Telegram as well. So them links are down below. So you can see when we broke through it, we broke through it extremely strongly. Now there is there was a huge market buy, which I'm going to show you in a minute as well. The reason for 53, in case anyone's new, is the last time we were moving to the upside, 53 is the highest point we got before the major rejection. So broke through it very strongly, and that is a very good sign for the market. If you look back down here, 50,000 when we broke through it, very strong move. The same on 48, when we finally were able to break away from it, it was a big move through it. Same with 46, big move through it. So generally you can see when we are going to break through these levels and hold it, generally there is a fairly decent move to the upside before stabilizing, getting some base to move up again. Because this was such a huge move yesterday, I would expect to try and stabilize around these levels for Bitcoin if we can get the buying pressure in around 54, while some of these funds flow back out into the altcoins as well to let them catch up and then Bitcoin can move for its next leg to the upside. If we look at that on the Bitcoin dominance, you can see yesterday, I suppose the last two, three days really, the Bitcoin dominance has been rising and today it has been starting to fall. So what this signifies, anyone who hasn't heard of the dominance before, this is Bitcoin versus the rest of the market, currently just under 44%. And when you see this rising, it means the funds are going into Bitcoin. When it starts to fall like this, this means the money is coming out of Bitcoin and back into some of the other altcoins out there. So overall, we'll keep an eye on this. I would expect this to probably stabilize and push to the upside as well, because I do think another move for Bitcoin is coming first. And then later on in the month, that's when I expect things to really kick off for lots of the other coins, especially Cardano. We'll talk about that towards the end as well. And why we still haven't seen dApps on the platform. And that is when I think things really kick off. So if we look here for some of the reasons, one big reason going around is that someone bought up $1.6 billion worth of Bitcoin via market orders yesterday. So short liquidations, normally when you see a move like this, you would expect to see liquidations helped push this to the upside. Yes, liquidations did help a small bit, but if we look at this here, this is the point here yesterday, there really isn't a huge amount of liquidations yesterday that would have caused such a big move. In the short, if when you look at the smaller time frames here, you can see, yes, there is a bit of liquidations yesterday, but nothing major compared to what we have had in the past. So this here, $1.6 billion worth of Bitcoin in market orders. It's crazy to do something like this. When someone is buying in with them types of volumes, normally what they do is OTC, which is over the counter. They make private deals and it doesn't ever go on to a public market because when you do market buys on a public market, what that does is it really affects the price. So one of the only reasons you can think of that someone would do this is because they don't have time to do an OTC. They know something is coming to affect the market. They'd is potentially going to push it to the upside. And if they go the OTC route, they may miss their entry point. There's lots of ETFs coming up from approval towards the end of October and throughout November. There are a few ETFs 
which is an exchange traded fund. Something like that would really solidify Bitcoin, where it's going in the future and really give a lot of strength and a lot of confidence to the market to really push Bitcoin up. And again, Bitcoin pulls everything else up and over time, as we've seen time and time again, other coins will outperform Bitcoin. If we look here, even actually the overall market has started to turn to the upside. This is the stock market, the Dow Jones. You can see it hasn't been doing a whole lot the last since May timeframe, it's really trending sideways after making a major move to the upside. It's just trending at the minute. So we keep an eye on this as well, because this will have an impact. If this starts to go green again, this is going to be good overall and it's going to give confidence. And once again, Bitcoin can move along with this as well. I would expect Bitcoin to far outperform that though. If we look at the ADA BTC chart. So yesterday, you can see the ADA BTC chart has been losing a lot of space here. This is since the Cardano Summit. If I zoom out here, we'll go on the daily to see it better. You can see the green going up here is the long-term uptrend. We've looked at this a few times before. I did post it yesterday or the day before on Twitter when we were coming down to test it here. You can see from the very beginning of the year, the 3rd of January is where this starts. This wick down was our second point. And when we come down to test it here, we held it very strong. Once we got the bounce here, I think that's something like a 97, 98% move to the upside there. We can see about 100% from the bottom. Not saying we're definitely going to see 100% from here, but it's good to see technically anyway that we held these levels here. So purple for anyone who's been watching, that is the time frame that we are expecting de -apt. That's probably pushed out by a few more days now with what I've seen in the last few days, but I'll get to that in a second. What we really need to see here for the ADA BTC chart is stabilizing around here before pushing to the upside. I think if Bitcoin goes and makes another surge to the upside, and by that I mean a fairly quick move to the upside, we could see pulling back down again to test this. I would like to see us pushing a bit higher before we get that so that if we do come back down to test, we could get something like this. So push up, back down and test, and then get the springboard up. So if that happened over the next few days, you'd be looking at coming up here, back down to test, just in time for some of the applications launching on top of Cardano. And this is very similar for a lot of coins. Yesterday, a lot of coins got a bounce in the market. For Cardano, it just happens to come along to play into the technicals perfect that we bounce off the overall trend line. So won't get too much into that, but it is good to see it holding so far. If we look at, well, we look at the ADA USD price. So here's what we're looking at. So fairly stable. Actually, if we do the comparison, you can see here, just to get the overall big picture, you can see Bitcoin on the bottom, ADA USD in the middle, and the ADA BTC price up on top. So the ADA USD price has become very, very stable right now. To me, this is an accumulation zone for the ADA price. We'll look at the bigger chart in a minute. So while Bitcoin is moving to the upside, ADA is just staying still. That's because the overall ADA BTC price has been coming down. But what we will hopefully see over the next few weeks is this starts to gain against Bitcoin as well. While Bitcoin still continues to climb, we want to see the ADA BTC price getting back on track and outperforming Bitcoin towards the end of the year as well. So if we look at the ADA BTC chart, again, I still see from 189 up to $2.00. That's a real big accumulation zone for ADA. So even if we do dip down into this, this is where we seem to be getting a lot of the buying pressure. So why haven't we seen D apps launching on Cardano yet? This is the time frame that I've been talking about. That's when I expect to see things really kicking off for ADA. We haven't seen any yet because the PAB, PAB, you might see that thrown around a bit, the Plutus application backend, that is something that has not been delivered just yet. I've seen rumors of before the end of October, I've seen the 29th of October thrown around as a date. They're just, I haven't seen any official confirmation yet, but from talking to different people, once we have that, that is what a lot of the D apps need for plugging into smart contracts, for getting everything just to pull together, and that's when things can really kick off. So again, we are looking at the end of October. I suppose I need to push this out from the 20th if the date is actually the 29th. So we'll leave it out on the 29th. Again, that's just a rumor. 
and that does fall in the middle of an epoch so i don't think actually that will be the official date but once i get it i will let you know so once we have that once we start to see the dapps going live which by dapps i mean the dexes the likes of ardana uh, liquid finance all of them types of applications that's when i think things can really kick off for the ada price so if bitcoin pushes to the upside i think we will slowly follow it for the ada usd price but once we hit into this zone that's when i think the acceleration happens for the ada price i hope this has been useful for you guys if it has make sure you share it out there let me know your own thoughts down below as well and don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if you like the content thanks for watching guys i will talk to you all soon